Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover an introduction to the order of operations with integers. Now we're going to be working with both positive and negative integers. We have four examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now remember, the order of operations are parentheses, exponents, multiplication or division, and then addition or subtraction. Let's jump into number one, where we have negative eight times two divided by four. And we'll start our process by looking for any sets of parentheses. So do we have any sets of parentheses where we have to solve something within those parentheses? No, we do have parentheses, but we just have a negative eight in there. Nothing that needs to be solved. We sometimes put parentheses around negative integers to help organize our problem. That way we don't confuse that negative with another operation within the problem. And it also helps make that negative eight stick out. So we don't forget it's a negative eight and lose sight of that as we go through our process. So we now go to exponents. Any exponents? No. Any multiplication or division? Yes. So that's where we start. Negative eight times two. So we have a negative times a positive. A negative times a positive equals a negative. So this is going to be negative 16. Bring down everything we did not use. So the division and the four. So we end with negative 16 divided by four. A negative divided by a positive equals a negative. So this equals negative four, and that's going to be our answer. Let's go on to number two, where we have parentheses, nine minus three and parentheses times negative five minus 20. So let's go through our process. Any parentheses where we have something to solve within the parentheses? Yes, nine minus three, which equals six. Bring down everything we did not use and go from there. So any parentheses where we have something to solve? No. Any exponents? No. Any multiplication or division? Yes. So that six next to the parentheses, that means multiplication. So we have six times negative five. So a positive times a negative equals a negative. So this is going to be negative 30. Then we bring down our subtraction and the 20. So we have a negative 30 minus 20. So what we can do here, we can add the opposite. That helps us subtract integers. So let's add a negative 20. So that's going to give us negative 30 plus negative 20 is negative 50. Again, we added the opposite. If you like to think of it as negative 30 minus 20, you're subtracting 20, you're going 20 to the left down the number line, that works too. You're still going to end up with negative 50. But again, you can also add the opposite when it comes to subtracting integers. Let's move on to number three, where we have negative two cubed or negative two to the power of three minus parentheses 14 divided by two and parentheses. Let's go through our process. So any sets of parentheses where we have something that needs solved? Yes, the 14 divided by two. We will start there. So 14 divided by two is seven. Bring down everything we did not use. So any parentheses where we have something to solve? No, any exponents? Yes, we have negative two cubed. So that means negative two times negative two times negative two. So negative two times negative two, a negative times a negative equals a positive four. Bring down the other negative two. So we end with a positive four times a negative two. So that's going to give us a negative eight because a positive times a negative equals a negative. So this is negative eight here bring down the subtraction and the seven. So just like number two, we have a negative and we are subtracting a positive. So we can add the opposite. 
let's add the opposite here, and we end up with negative eight plus negative seven, which equals negative 15. And lastly, number four, we have negative 35 divided by negative seven plus 10. So any parentheses? No. Any exponents? No. Any multiplication or division? Yes, we have negative 35 divided by negative seven. So a negative divided by a negative equals a positive. So this is going to be five. Bring down our addition sign there and the 10. So we end with five plus 10, which equals a positive 15. So there you have it. There's an introduction to the order of operations with integers. Now I do have a follow-up video with two more problems that are a little more complex. I'll drop that link down in the description. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.